Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the weekly Google Chrome security fixes have arrived. And after the update has been applied, browser version and build is sitting on 142.0.744.134 or 135. Either or running Windows, Mac and Linux means your browser is fully patched with version 142. Now for this week, we get five security fixes that have rolled out. And thankfully, there are no zero days that had to be patched or any critical vulnerabilities. But we do get three high severity flaws that need to be patched for this week. And the first one is out of bounds right in web GPU. And the second and third are both inappropriate implementation in views and inappropriate implementation in V8. Now, first of all, giving you a quick recap as to what an out of bounds vulnerability is all about. Basically, it's similar to a buffer overflow where data can be written beyond the boundaries of allocated memory. And then this vulnerability may allow a remote attacker then to execute arbitrary code. So that's what that's all about. And then an inappropriate implementation basically could allow, once again, a remote code execution, which means an attacker could get access to your system through a network or over the internet meaning that they could run code on your computer just by getting you to visit a specially crafted web page and website. So that's more or less what those two vulnerabilities are all about, in case you are wondering. So five security fixes have rolled out in total for this week. And obviously, we can expect the other Chromium-based web browsers to get more or less the same security fixes throughout the course of this week. And if you are asking the question, has this affected the workaround for uBlock Origin? No, it hasn't. You can see uBlock is still working even after this point release has rolled out, which is good to see. So that workaround I posted, which I'll leave the video for linked down below and in the end screen, that workaround is still working even after this latest point release update. And I have had a quick look around the browser. I'm not noticing any tweaks or adjustments when it comes to user interface changes that the update may have introduced. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.